Welcome to a special broadcast presentation. We are proud to bring you a timeless experience in these unprecedented times. It's the music of the Jewish High Holy Days. We're about to join Cantor Simon Spiro, spiritual leader of the Songshul in Toronto, along with the Toronto Festival Singers, the finest synagogue choir in North America, in a service pre-recorded in the New Classical FM's Zoomer Hall. Elisa Spiro, the creative director of the Songshul, will be guiding us through and explaining the prayers. This broadcast is made possible through the generosity of Steele's Memorial Chapel, Imagine Wealth Management Inc., the Paul Bronfman Family Foundation, the Songshul, the Toronto Star, Dr. Naomi Himmel and Ron Lustig, many anonymous donors, Zoomer Media, and the New Classical FM. Without further ado, here's Elisa Spiro. Shana Tova, Gmar Chatima Tova, and welcome. I'm Aliza Spiro, and we're honored to have you with us as we begin Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the Jewish calendar. Together with Cantor Simon Spiro and the Toronto Festival Singers, we're excited to share with you now the magnificent musical sounds of the High Holy Days. At the start of the Yom Kippur evening service, Or Zarua Latzadik is traditionally chanted seven times as the Torahs are taken out of the Ark. The words tell us that a light is sown for the righteous, and for the upright of heart, joy. Kol Nidre is often called the holiest prayer, but in fact, it's a technical legal declaration in the ancient language of Aramaic. This legal formula nullifies vows for the year, helping us to avoid the sin of breaking vows made to God. The words were used as early as the 8th century, and the music is instantly recognizable. Oh, oh, oh. 
We now establish and emphasize the theme of God's forgiveness as we repeat the next line three times. Shehechayanu is the blessing we say to commemorate new occasions, thanking God for sustaining us and allowing us to reach this season. This beautiful composition is by Marvin Hamlish of Blessed Memory, a great composer and close personal friend of Cantor Spiro.
Arhu is the ceremonial call to worship at the formal beginning of the daily morning and evening services. The melody tonight is unique. It is sung only in the evenings of the High Holy Days. The Shema is the centerpiece of morning and evening prayers, declaring that there is only one God. The second line, blessed be the name of his kingdom forever and ever, is usually reserved for the angels. But on Yom Kippur evening, it is as if we are spiritually raised to the level of angels. It's the only time of year when we say that line aloud. Shema. followed with Ve'ahavta, the paragraph from Deuteronomy in which we are commanded to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. אשר אנוכי מצבך, היום על לבבך, ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת הבם בשבתך וביתך, ובלכתך ודרך, ובשוכבך ובקומך, וקשתם להיות על ידך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם המזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. We rejoin the counter at the conclusion of the Shema. אדוני אלוהיכם אמן. As we approach the Amida, our silent meditation, we ask God with awe and admiration, Mi Chamocha, who is like you?
Ugiyala Miyakas of Mimenu Baruch Atah Adonai Baruch Atah Adonai We further praise God for spreading his Sukkot Shalom, his shelter of peace over the world, continuing with the message that on this day atonement will be made. <laughs> Baruch Atah Adonai Baruch Hu Baruch Shemo Apore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu Ve'akor Amor Ve'akor Amor Yisrael The Chatzik Kaddish, or Half Kaddish, leads directly into the Amidah, the core segment of Jewish daily services. Again, this melody is unique and heard only in the evening service of the High Holy Days. Good shot. 
Piyut, or liturgical poem, is Ya'ale. It sings of our hopes for the 25-hour cycle of Yom Kippur. May our prayers rise at nightfall, approach God at dawn, and finally be answered at dusk. Ya'ale. Kadma Fanav is part of Lechuna Ranana, a joyous announcement of Come, let us sing to the Lord. But here, now, the cantor movingly sings of righteousness and justice as the foundation of God's throne. <laughs>
Haneshama Lach, the soul is yours. Haneshama Lach, the soul is yours. Haneshama Omnam Cain was written by Rabbi Yom Tov of York. These fervent prayers are presented in Hebrew in an alphabetical acrostic. Omnam Cain, Cain, Kihine Kachomer is a beautiful piyut, comparing God to a craftsman and humankind to his art. Hewn stone, blown glass, forged iron, gorgeous images reminding us of our dependence on our maker. We are like clay in the hands of the potter. Kihine Kachomer Miyad biyad ayotze Bitsoto Mahi Uvitsoto Mekate Kainanahu Biyadha Kesed Thank <laughs> you. 
The words of the next piyut were written in the ninth century by Rabbi Amram Gaon. He speaks of God enthroned above, and the music begins as a lullaby. We're carried back in time, recalling the moment when Moses stood in the cleft of the rock at Mount Sinai. God's essence passed by and was revealed to Moses. The prayer then leads to proclaiming God's 13 attributes. <laughs> Mochel avonot amo, ma'avi rishon, rishon, marbe mechila lecha.
Kolenu, Hear Our Voice. Cantor Spiro composed this melody for a ceremony in Auschwitz-Birkenau in Poland. <laughs>
Ki Anu Amecha is a well-known piyut which emphasizes our special relationship with God. Ki Anu Amecha v'gata Eloheinu Anu Hanecha v'gata Avinu Anu Hanecha v'gata Ashamnu is the Yom Kippur confessional. Traditionally, we rise and we beat a fist over our hearts with each confession. <laughs> Kulam, for all of them, for all of our sins, we ask forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you. 
Avinu Malkenu, our Father, our King. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, Elanu Melech Elata. Avinu Malkenu. And now, the melody sung the world over. and uplifting High Holy Day melody of the Kaddish was written by the great cantor Yossela Rosenblatt. The words are in Aramaic, but the last line is in Hebrew. May he who grants peace in the heavens grant peace unto us and all of Israel. Amen. <laughs> Bangalah, 
Yimeru Amen Yehesh Meraba Bevoharach Liolam Olamei Olmayach Yitbara 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 based on the 13 principles as quoted by Maimonides. As the cascading harmonies envelop you, I thank you for being with us. Join us tomorrow on Yom Kippur Day when we share a special Yizker memorial service, which also remembers the victims of the current pandemic. I'm Aliza Spiro, and on behalf of Cantor Simon Spiro, the Toronto Festival Singers, the Song Shul, and our generous sponsors, we wish you an easy fast and a healthy and peaceful new year. May you be inscribed and sealed in the Book of Life. Gmar Chatima Tova. <laughs> Shlach <laughs> le
You just heard the signature sound of the song shul with cantor Simon Spiro and the Toronto Festival singers. More details at songshul.com. This special broadcast was made possible through the generosity of Steele's Memorial Chapel, Imagine Wealth Management, Inc., the Paul Bronfman Family Foundation, the Song Shul, the Toronto Star, Dr. Naomi Himmel and Ron Lustig, and various anonymous individual sponsors, Zoomer Media and the New Classical FM. We invite you to come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our Yom Kippur morning music, including a special Yiz Corps. Thank you for joining us. We now return to all your classical favorites on Classical FM, beautiful music for a crazy world.